for ACA Gold in the welterweight division. Murad Abdullayev takes on Ali Bagov. Height and reach pretty much the same. And you look at the record of the two. Great experience on both sides. We are set, we are ready. Five five minute rounds. Should it go the distance? Me, Brian Lacey alongside Brad. One punch picket. Straight away, Abdullayev is having to deal with that. Oh. Oh, another inside low kick. Timed that kick out. well. The Hulk, Ali Bagov, makes a connection. And Early on as well. So hard to get off in this position, even late in the fight, Brad. And you'll notice he, he doesn't have his hands wrapped as well. He is all about the grappling. He wants to get as much grip as possible. And Morad, maybe ruin that decision he stayed planted on his feet he threw the kick and stayed in one spot yeah it was like I say he, he threw too hard when he, he was trying to knock him out and when you throw too hard sometimes you commit to, too hard to a punch and you, and, and you sacrifice your own hips and now he will be feeling for the first time the pressure that comes with Ali Bagov on top that top pressure and you, you said before Ali Bagov, you look at his early fights, I mean, he has a tremendous record. 29 wins, 25 finishes, 23 of those are by submission, and I believe 21 of those are in the very first round. But he was known for that fast starting, almost burnt himself out. If he, if he survived one round with Bagov, then you'd probably take the fight in round two or three, but he's changed, he's turned the tables on that over the last few years. It really is a much more efficient weapon, and that's a, a scary prospect. Yeah, that's the thing when he's a bit younger he, he, what he tried to do is win every moment and every but not just say win the win the win every moment like smash every <laughs> like the hulk that's where he got the name from he, he tried to smash you for every minute or every second of it, every minute for every round but now he's learned how to what he's doing now he's he's staying calm he's staying collective and he's winning 
and he's just doing just doing enough. He's using a lot of good fighting IQ and pressure. And looking to pass as well. And you talked about his nickname, the Hulk. He got that from the one and only Habib Nurmagomedov. And uh, if Habib is calling you the Hulk, <laughs> you really are a scary man. I even remember doing my research back in the day on Ali Bagger. We've seen that him and Habib actually had a fight back in the day when there was headbutts. And yeah. I was like, what's going on here? <laughs> These two headbutting each other. And then they became training partners. And now Bagov working the body, just really wearing on at the live. Great game plan from him. Yeah. Short elbows, horrible stuff, just not fight finishing things, but just stuff that will wear on you and maybe will open up an opportunity. And also just doing enough to stay busy to, to keep the fight on the map. Well, he definitely wants to keep it here. Yeah, and Abdullah trying to get his hips back engaged, but look at that top pressure from is that, Bagov. Is that really good forward pressure? He's staying in half guard. This is what a lot of people do. But, you know, they stay like to stay in half guard because he's trapping one of the legs and he's using his top half, the, the pressure of driving forward, keeping uh, Abdullayev's back flat on the back. Now he's, see, he chose to go straight back, he kind of semi-passed it, and he chose to go back into the half guard. Oh, a nice knee to the midsection. He's just peppering him from the top position and wearing on him. This is a five-round fight. Oh, there's booze from some of the crowd, but they really do not understand. Oh, Abdullayev makes space. Great work to get back to his feet. This is wow. exactly what he had to do, Brian. He used a, a, a good butterfly, elevated Ali Bagoff. That's what he needed to do. He needed to clear a bit of space. He needs to make a bit of scrambles. He needs to make this a bit more of a higher pace fight. Well, he's targeting that lead leg once again, Brad, trying to take away the mobility, the power, the explosion from Bagoff. But look how Bagoff just connects. This is the thing, is in an MMA fight, you don't want to be on your back, really. And, and like I said, Abdullah is no slouch. Ali Bagov talking to him in these positions as well. What a turnaround though. Abdullah, brilliant work to get up. Targeted that lead leg, forced Bagov shot, read it and then ended up in top position. But still, still, when you're putting your uh, game plan together, you don't want to be on the ground at all with Ali Bagov, really. You don't, you know, in my eyes, yes, I know it is. Abdullah has been super impressive with his MMA uh, uh, weapon and uh, he's doing a great job here. And like, Ali Bagov is uh, amazing on the floor, but when he's the ball and when he's on top and he's yeah. controlling it, when he's on his back, he's so big and muscular, he doesn't have the, the explosion that he, he has on when he's on top. And I think this is not a bad turnaround and good little tactic here by Abdullah. And Abdullah, he stepped away from the sport in 2016, two years. He took off and then he came back in 2018 went on a three fight win streak in the WFCA won their tight oh nice elbow oh that was one after the bell a little bit of afters and he'll get a warning there but that is a uh, impressive first round Abdullayev looked like he was almost overdid it with the leg kicks planted himself gave up that first takedown but so impressed with this get up and then to finish in that top position in that style. Great work. He's, he's going to be asking a lot of questions moving into the second one. I still believe that the time control within that round was Ali Bagoff, but he was a very good testament to be able to switch and reverse that position. Not just get back to your feet, but change it and actually be on top, landing some heavy shots to move into that round. And what a stat that is. If Abdullah wins this, he'll become the fifth person to have held a WFCA and an ACA title. That is showing the value of that WFCA title for sure. Round two set to go underway. Murad Abdullah, blue corner. Ali Hulk Bagov in the red. Me, Brian Lacey, alongside Brad. One punch picket calling the action here in Moscow. Oh, Round two. Let's see if he works that lead leg again. Oh, long jab working the body. And it's the movement that Ushu Sandu oh. back around. He's left that leg out. That's the problem with those sort of kicks against Ali Bagov. And again, within 15 seconds, he is on his back with Bagov on top. He's got to be very well kicking. When you're kicking, you're leaving one of your limbs. And if one of you gets caught, you only got one leg to balance on. And Ali Bagov has very good trips and all that sort of stuff. And he's just going to get on. He's going to take this as a golden opportunity to get in a good position. Now, this is where we need to see Abdullayev 
mix things up and try and reverse this early move this round. He can't be forward to lose half the round or even more than half the round and then switch it. And Bagov will be content to work from here. We saw some great work here against uh, Hussein Haliyev. He worked to the head and arm triangle to claim the title for ACA at lightweight. Oh, what an elbow that is. He claimed that title against another great submission expert. This time, Abdulayev is going to have to try and survive this pressure. And you, there seems to be a bit more pop on the shots coming from Bagov. He's trying to make more of a statement rather than that first round where he was peppering him. Now he's really looking to hurt, maybe damage, open up Abdulayev on the bottom. Yeah, maybe we got a little bit disgruntled by the, the late elbow <laughs> in the end of the first round. <laughs> yeah, you, you are overdrawn one elbow. Let me... Uh, Make sure you repay that. Kokov did a good job of getting his back to the side here. But Kokov, is he back? Sorry, sorry, I mean back. Abdullayev. Abdullayev. <laughs> oh. Again, going back to using that butterfly. And now, Bagov, we've seen him punish people up against the cage here. Tough Brazilian, Hederson Batista, he controlled him. And he's a huge unit as well. He's doing a good job here of framing the, the head. With his left hand and replacing it with his elbow again, some good ground and pound in here. Posturing up a little bit more as well, not completely, but certainly to a point where he can get a bit more torque on that. Well, you can see as a technical point here, what he's doing is doing such a good job. What he's doing, sitting back down on that bottom leg. You can see he's got he, he keep an eye yeah. sitting on the leg. That's really stopping. He needs to um, <laughs> um, yeah. needs that bottom leg to be able to get up, and what he's doing is just sitting on it. It's a, it's a, it's a very, very good tactic. Abdullah will just be weathering the storm right now. Not taking too much damage, but certainly will be wearing on him. But like you said, he's going to have to. He's going to have to advance his position, and these elbows will keep coming, and, and they will pick up in power as well. And you look at the time of the round already. Now that that's more than the, the, the three minutes of the first round, all one way. Wow. Another hammer fist coming down. Ali Bagov. And then sometimes, it, from a technical point of view, it's kind of like easy for me to stay on the outside and say, this is what you need to do, this is what you need. It's different when you're in there and, and you feel it. As I always say to someone, sometimes you've got to feel someone and like, okay, no, he has a different type of pressure. Mm. You know, and, and so it's easy for me on the outside to say, oh, you need to get your butterfly in or elevate him. But it's, I'm not the one There's in levels, there. Yeah. I'm not <laughs> the one in there with the Hulk on top of me. Oh. And now one he's doing the, right thing, doing the right thing now, he's trying to get his knee in there, trying to create a bit of frame, trying to create a bit of space. That's what he needs to do is create some frames, create some space and trying to create some sort of scramble like he's doing now. And this round is slipping away from him. And this, but there are some deep breaths coming there from Abdullayev on the bottom, understandably so. I'm not sure what the referee's warning him about there. There was certainly some conversation going on between the two. I'm not sure I could hold a conversation while Bagov's dropping elbows on me. <laughs> Oy, another few shots coming up and round. This time makes some space, but top pressure again from Bagov. So this is always the, the, the question. Before with Ali Bagov, this would be his style, but he would seem to gasp, but somehow he, 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 he can't do this now for uh, five rounds. Oh, and now he's stacking him up. Heavier shots coming down. Abdullayev really has got to force an exit, find an exit. Oh, he gets the up kick, but still Bagov pushes through those limbs. And once again, settles on top, re-establishes position, 15 seconds. And you've got to wonder how this round scored. In yeah, this round's been all one-way traffic. This is the thing now, but when he gets back to feet, and now you start the third round. If you're Abdullayev, you're going to be so worried, you, you know you're going to have to strike and try and get a knockout or, or, or get in a good position. But now you'll be so worried about what you throw, because uh, uh, the Hulk has done a great job of timing those kicks, throw the distance and get a takedown. And we've seen once again dominant grappling from Ali Bagov. And you talk about that movement. We saw a glimpse of it from Abdullah at the start of that round. He was picking his shots. Made Bagov miss with the first takedown, but then threw that kick to the midsection. That's a weapon in the corner. We're probably going to ask him to, to leave. Just yeah. Oh, big up kick. 
Look at that, it's a great replay. Right into the face there, blood up from the nose of Ali Bagov. But that pressure kept coming. And is that the key now? It's Abdullayev has got to be on his bike. He's got to work from the outside totally without any connection to Bagov. Yeah, if I was going to throw a kick, it would be more of a front team saw kick. Nothing around the outside where he could be caught. Because, uh, um, Ali Bagov would be happy to just take one into the ribs and catch it just to get a takedown. It's going to be hard to break a frame up Ali Bagov if you kick him to those ribs. You might even break, might even break your own shin. Ali Bagov was saying something about his left eye, and you can see there it's yeah, it's poked. Look at it, it's red. Maybe it's very red. Yeah. It looks a little bit depressed as well. It's bloodshot. Oh, a nice shot to the mix section there. Abdullayev, what has that taken out of him though as well? And look, as soon as he throws a shot, back off. Oh! Oh, big left hook more from Abdullayev. And he's, oh, he wobbled him then, but look at this. He's got the wizard, but back off. Back off on bottom now, this is what Abdullayev wants. Now, what? He, now what he needs to do is just make this a little bit more painful here and, and, and chip away with Ali Bagov. And that, what a reversal. What a story of a fight this has been so far. Round one, he was able to get out from under bottom. Abdullayev was to get top position and finish with some good elbows. One slightly after the buzzer. Round two, he looked good at the start, but then gave up the takedown from the kick and he just could not get out from under him. But round three came out with intent. Some big shots. I almost thought he was staying too close to him, but he managed to get the takedown. And now Bagov is on his back. What a fight we've had tonight, Brad. A good little change of events here now, seeing uh, Abdullayev on top, making Bagov work, wearing him down, good head position. And also, this gives him a chance to maybe get some gas in his lungs from that second round he's just had to endure, but looks certainly like he's got plenty of energy, he's got plenty of pop in these short elbows as well, Brad. Yeah, some of them are landing pretty good. And it's a close guard by Ali Bagov, so he's, in a way he's not... He, as if he's taking a little bit of break, he's not really opening up and trying to look to get back to his feet. Very low guard, not a high guard, so he's not looking for any sort of submissions. He's just in another way, looking just to maybe have a rest, take a round off. He may believe he's won the first two rounds, may take a round off, which Listen, is a dangerous thing. It's dangerous, but also he's certainly not taking too much damage from these positions. Able, oh, set these short elbows that find their way inside. Definitely, hey. definitely a game of who is going to be on top. Good elbows here. These are landing. This is the big difference where it seems to be like Abdullah was doing a little bit more damage when he's on top. These elbows are coming through. They're landing. No cuts have opened up yet. I'm surprised he saw. But they are short and they are sharp. And just look at the angles he brings them down and he really slices with them. And you know with that bone across the elbow, if that connects to the scalp, it's a perfect razor blade to uh, to open up your opponent i'm still surprised that ali bagov has not opened up his guard once i still think he might be taking a free day. he might be taking punishment oh, a little slap from the bottom there oh another set of elbows comes down this is the very this is halfway now this fight, a very, very important oh. round for Abdullayev now to switch things around. Slicing elbows coming down. Good control from Abdullayev. One minute, 30 seconds left in round number three. And this has been such a dominant round. And like you said, it feels like more damage coming from Abdullayev than Baga was able to create in a similar position. I think there now is like a little bit of blood coming out the right eye of Ali Bagov. Right, well, so so many of these elbows are landing. Yeah, he's cut there. You see, yeah, right he's eye. slicing that open. He's just going to work on that. Open another elbow comes in. This is unreal stuff from Abdullayev. He wanted to make a statement that this was his weight division. Bagov is merely on holiday here. But what a! This is not the sort of holiday that you get five nah. stars on TripAdvisor for. I tell you that. This one holiday I would want to go on. <laughs> Oof, and that cut is, that is really slicing open, that's a clean 
and it's on just above the eyelid just where the brow meets the lid yeah, and caught in this position with the blow could be trickling down into the eye as well and it is you can see now he's starting to blink as the blood and it, the problem I was the left side Brad when he stepped out into yeah. this round and now the right eye is the one that's taking blood An absolutely different round, very dominant round now by Abdulayev. And 10 seconds left. 10 seconds, and for the first time, Ali Bagov opens his guard. Yes. But that cut will need some treatment, and that is going to have to be watched. Yeah. That's the difference with the damage that Abdulayev has managed to do. And what a. Uh, Gas tank Abdullah has what an output in that round, Brad. Once he got that top position, he never took a breather, kept those elbows coming like he was swimming for his life. And Ali Bagov is let the, he's got to let the cut man get in there and do some work. It's the other, it's the other eye. That's the thing. You got that small cut there, but now that Cutman has worked his way in good work from Simon Haslam there to shimmy into there. But there we go, look at that left hand, that rocked bag off, and these are the elbows, Brad. It's going to be a very interesting start to this round. It's going to be one of those ones, who's going to get on top? And the brother of Ali Bagov, Umar Bagov, giving final instructions from outside the cage. Oof. Round number four. All for that, that belt, ACA gold. We might throw in the air horn as well. And here we go, Bagov pushing forward, instantly trying to trap Abdullayev against the cage, but this time Abdullayev's hips saved the day and now Bagov once again on his back. And we didn't see him once get up from this position. Uh, in a weird sort of way, I thought kind of like he pulled guard as well, like he kind of accepted Bob. Like he didn't oh, and now he's throwing up the triangle. Ali Bagov looking. Oh. That would see the speed at which he could do that from closed guard. That's me. Now we've seen a bit more of an active guard. That like, it's like he took the, the the third round off. But I think he almost played a little game with him there as well. He talked to him, and as he was talking, as soon as he said something, he threw up a threw up that triangle attempt. Abdullayev once again this top position. And Bagov was the one who pushed forward, tried to get Abdullah trapped against the cage. But great hips, Brad. What a uh, reversal. And both times we've seen it now in rounds two and rounds three, whoever has had top position, they've held it. Yeah, exactly that. It's that close guard again. Is it, it's no real attempt. I mean, you saw it earlier. He did throw up a, a good little triangle attempt. But now at the moment, it's nothing he's just trying to evade these elbows but they're still finding the way through like that one there he's got to be careful he's got to do does have a bad cut above the right eye and short shots coming from Bagov, but again that left elbow strikes down oh yeah yeah he's making a couple of rounds i can open him a little bit pushing his head then then land a good elbow Body and head. Listen to the breathing, they're right in front of us here. Staying busy as well, that's, that's what thing. I mean, it's just the output, he's non-stop. All pressure from Abdullayev. Oh, a nice short elbow there. Hey. Ali Bagov is right next to the cage, and I don't know why he's not even trying to turn this around. Oh, look at this, more short shots coming down. Now, Abdullayev stacking him a little bit, trying to get a little bit more pressure. But there's nothing from the hips, the, the base end of Ali Bagov. It's very surprising for me, it's like, it's a like, Except in position. It's so strange, especially when you're against the cage as well, Brad. When 
you're of that level and also of that strength not to try and make get your back there and get back to your feet also when you know it's such a close fight and you, you got to know you're losing this round and they are very happy with the work of Abdullayev in his corner they have a wardrobe malfunction here I think we can change the camera angle on that. <laughs> Good head position. Ref's nice this, give him a bit of a push. There we go. A wedgie, I think. <laughs> and still one minute, five seconds left. And still nothing from <laughs> Ali Bagov. He's hurt his dignity twice, but I... Uh, <laughs> and that, oh, a nice shot. Yeah, the blood's now getting a bit more on that eye. These are landing. I say he's doing a good job of just doing enough. Oh, that no, short shot. Coming to the last 30 seconds. And the bag of that eye is now starting to close from the bottom as well, Brad. Look at the damage across that. But the thing is, what he's doing, he's punching from the back himself while then you punch, you're going to lose. You, you oh, these are really picking up now, Brad. And shot after amazing. shot. The work weight and the pace he's, he's doing this ground and pound. Wow, what a round from Abdullayev. I don't know how they're going to score that, Brad, but you'd argue 10 8 possibly. Well, for me, it's more Stonewall, two rounds to two rounds. The momentum obviously going in uh, Abdullayev's favour here. But if Ali Bagov done what he done in the first two rounds, he can walk away with the belt, uh, the belt tonight, I believe. I do believe this is Stonewall, two round the piece wow bag of though wearing the damage the only thing you, yeah two rounds a piece but if you score this round 10-8 then bag of will need a finish yeah true but i, I mean i did give the second round uh, maybe like a possible 10-8 but different i think, I think, think less damage. damage yeah less that's damage. the thing but what an output from abdullayev and this it's the third and final round of the main, the fifth and final round of the main event here at ACA 110. All for that, the welterweight championship belt. It's not a bad looking belt, is it, Brad? Uh, that'll look good on my, uh, on my uh, trophy cabinet. All right, I'll, I'll pop you in there with uh, Abdullah Ali Bagov next then, yeah? Keep it. <laughs> final round. Off we go, Abdullayev in the blue corner, Ali Bagov in the red, Bagov pushing forward, looking for that shot, trying to get the connection, good hips for Abdullayev once again, now the trip from Bagov, Bagov in top position. This is going to make this so interesting, Brian. In the centre of the cage as well, Brad. It's literally been a battle who can get on top. And that was a relentless takedown. That showed that despite that tough fourth round there for Bagov, in his head he's not broken. And we've seen that from him before in other fights where mentally he's, he tunes out a little bit. But this one, fifth and final round, was determined to get it to the mat and has done. And now wants to punish Abdullayev. The only difference, difference between this and the different positions is that Abdullayev is showing a little bit more from his back, looking to get up. He knows this is a very, very close fight. And that's one minute, and we have had four, I think all five rounds have ended with someone on their back within the first minute of the fight. First 10 seconds, within Brian. the first 10 or 15 seconds, you're quite right. And only once has that been reversed, and that was in the first round, first Brad. First round, yeah. Ali Bagov can he come back from that tough 
fourth round that super impressive to change the momentum again you know like when you're winning and then now you start losing the about to switch that round that shows not just good skill set and uh, stamina it shows great you know mental fortitude and now three minutes ten seconds let's see if bag of both corners have got to be panicking here oh without a doubt so much on the line so much to battle for And it's funny that Ali chose different positions to do the ground and pound where Ali Bagov likes to stick, stay in half guard and, and Abdullah was stayed in the guard. In the guard, but he had more no, damage. He did more damage, but he also he had less uh, less to deal with. Bagov had his legs pretty much closed for all of that round. Whereas Abdullah, you see him at least trying to control or at least trying to shift his hips, use the butterflies to try and get back up. Oh. As halfway of this round gone, Abdullah now needs to try and reverse this. Wow, what the judges are being tested this evening for sure. And Abdullah controlling the posture there at Bagov. But still, these little short shots coming in. One minute 45 seconds in this fifth and final round. There is such a tension in this room. The only round that were ever seen that got reversed and I had both. It was the first round first where they both yeah. had some top time. But yet again, within that round, Ali Bagov had more. more. I, think, I think he had three and a half minutes of top time. But I think I think the damage maybe that Abdullah caused in that end of that first round. And also the damage he caused especially in the second uh, in a, sorry in the third and fourth yeah without a doubt they saw the cut open up but yeah again this is just all one-sided there's nothing coming back oh another more knees coming in one minute left one minute left to claim their place and the thing is with all the rounds you may look at be looking at the rep hey to stand this up but both of them when they've been in the top position stayed super busy Oh, yeah. now he's trying to reverse, he's trying to make some space. Oh, he's giving up the crucifix. He's going for that deep half, trying to roll. But Bagov staying heavy on top. Yeah, very good hips from Bagov. What 25 <laughs> seconds. Crazy. We once again thank ACA. They do not employ us as judges because what a tough one to score we shall find out soon though 10 seconds left who can claim this this fourth fifth round has been all bag of on top but maybe it comes down to that fourth round if that is a 10-8 brad even yeah! dominating this fifth round will not be enough Whoa. a little bit of afters just there bag of thinks he's done enough he climbs to the top of the cage. Yeah, that was strange. You saw the, saw the amount of sportsmanship before the fight. And it wasn't really a dirty fight in, in any way, shape or form. Maybe a little bit of frustration there by Abdullah. But that is what it means to them, Brad. This is... They, they, Rain so hard for this. They've dreamt about that belt being put around their waist. After Lyam fought for the title before, does not want what he sees as a lightweight moving up to take his belt. And Bagov wants to make history here tonight in front of a, a crowd that have been cheering him out throughout this. Uh, we shall find out that we shall see. This will go to the judges' press. Yeah, very, very, very interesting fight. It kind of felt like that. Maybe. Ali Bagel was taking a couple of rounds off to, to rest and get the third round. Very, very dangerous tactic if, it, if that was even the case. I, I, I honestly couldn't believe that could be the case. It's just how he turned around. So he showed great mental fortitude to be able to switch this around from winning the fight, two rounds, and then 
losing two rounds to turn around it in the final fifth round. That's how I probably would have scored it, is three rounds to two. They all, the big question was in that fourth round, did, did they judges score the fourth round of 10-8? Because I was going to it could have been, because it was all one way, and you saw that Abdullah have actually done a lot of damage. You open up a bad cut above the right eye. As you can see now, as you see that Ali bag up there, all that right eye is damaged. Scorecards are being collected, the belt is being brought into the cage. Let's find out which way, who's going to be crowned the ACA welterweight champion. What a final fight. Top of this car, top of the bill. I'm very anxious to see which way this goes. Fire's gonna be brought into the middle. <laughs> Ali Bagov seems to be a little bit disgruntled here. Not too sure why. They're bringing these guys into the middle to make this one official. Are now brought into the middle. Let's see which way this one goes. Go, 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 go